This video is brought to you by mywayteaching.com. In this part, we are going to start the next chapter. The name of the chapter is Thermodynamics. In this particular chapter, we are going to deal with the topic called, you know, the various topics under thermodynamics. The topics that we are going to study are the introductory part, thermal equilibrium, zeroth law of thermodynamics, heat, internal energy, and work, first law of thermodynamics. Specific heat capacity, thermodynamic state variables and equation of state, thermodynamic processes, heat engines, refrigerators and heat pumps, second law of thermodynamics, reversible and irreversible processes. Carnot engine. So we are going to study about all these topics in this particular chapter. Moving to the introductory part. See in the previous chapters we have studied thermal properties of matter. Isn't it? So in this particular chapter we are going to study about the laws that govern the thermal energy. And even we will study about the processes where work is converted into heat and where heat is converted into work. Okay. In winter when we rub our palms together we feel warmer. Isn't it? Yes. Here work done in rubbing produces the heat. Conversely, in case of steam engine, if you consider, in that particular case, similarly in case of a steam engine, the heat of that steam, it is used to do useful work in moving the pistons uh, which in turn rotate the wheels of the train. So, here heat is, uh, we are using heat, isn't it? So, in physics, we need to define the notions of heat temperature work more carefully. Historically, it took a long time to arrive at the proper concept of heat. Before the modern picture, heat was uh, regarded as a fine invisible fluid filling in the pores of a substance. Okay, the view of uh, those scientists, it was like that about heat. They assume that heat is a fine invisible fluid which is, uh, you know, which will be there in the pores of the substance. On contact between a hot body and a cold body, that fluid flowed from the colder to the hotter body. This is similar to what happens when a horizontal pipe connects uh, two tanks containing uh, water up to different heights. The flow continues until the levels of water in the two tanks are same, isn't it? Likewise, in this uh, caloric, caloric uh, picture of heat, heat flows until the caloric levels, which means uh, the temperature in the both the bodies remains same. When they attain that uh, equal temperature, then that uh, no, the flowing of heat will stop from one body to the other body. This is the concept of heat. Okay. In time, the picture of uh, heat as a fluid was discarded in favor of the modern concept of heat as a form of energy. So, in the early days, they believed that he is a heat is will be in the form of fluid but in modern days it, that concept was discarded and now it is called the heat as a form of energy okay now it is uh, scientists have discovered that heat is not a form of fluid it is a form of energy so an important experiment in this uh, connection was uh, due to the benjamin thompson
okay he is also known as uh, count room ford in 1798 he observed that uh, boring of a uh, brass cannot generate a lot of heat indeed enough to boil water so more significantly the amount of heat produced it depended on the work done but not on the sharpness of the drill so in the caloric picture a sharper drill would scoop out more heat fluid from the pores but this was not observed in that particular experiment a most uh, natural explanation of the observations was that heat was a form of energy and the experiment demonstrated conversion of energy from one form to the another that is uh, the work done is converted into heat okay Thermodynamics is the branch of physics that deals with the concepts of heat and temperature and the interconversion of heat and other forms of energy. So this branch of physics that is thermodynamics it deals exclusively with the concepts of heat and temperature and how that heat is converted into various other forms of energy. Thermodynamics is a macroscopic science, okay? it is not on microscopic level it is a macroscopic science it deals with the bulk systems does not go into the molecular constitution of matter in fact its concepts and laws were formulated in the 19th century before molecular picture of matter was formally established thermodynamic description it involves uh, relatively few macroscopic variables of the system which are suggested by the common sense and it can be visually measured directly so before that molecular uh, you know the picture of matter this uh, concept of uh, thermodynamics was there so it deals with macroscopic bulk systems a microscopic description of a gas for example would involve specifying the coordinates and velocities of huge number of molecules that constitute the gas the description in kinetic theory of gas is not so detailed but it does involve molecular description of velocities so this thermodynamic description of gas on the other hand it avoids that uh, molecular description altogether because it deals in macroscopic level and instead the state of a gas in thermodynamics is specified by macroscopic variables okay the state of a gas in this thermodynamic mainly what we study or what it describes is that it describes that state of the gas so this uh, state of the gas it is specified by the macroscopic variables what are the uh, macroscopic uh, variables on which this depends yeah it depends on the macroscopic variables uh, such as pressure volume temperature mass and composition that are felt by sense perceptions and that are measurable
the distinction between mechanics and thermodynamics is uh, worth bearing in mind because in mechanics our uh, interest is in the motion of particles or uh, motion of bodies under the action of forces and torques isn't it in mechanics it, it you know we study mainly about the motion of bodies under the action of torques and forces whereas in thermodynamics it is concerned with the motion of the system as a whole it is concerned with the internal macroscopic state of the body see when a bullet is fired from a gun what changes in the mechanical state of the bullet especially that kinetic energy will change isn't it not its temperature when the bullet uh, it pierces a wood and when it stops half the way the kinetic energy of the bullet gets converted into heat changing the temperature of the bullet and even the surrounding layers of wood so temperature is related to the energy of the internal motion of the bullet not to the motion of the bullet as a whole okay that temperature is related to the energy of the internal energy okay energy of the internal motion of the bullet it is not related to the bullet or the motion of the bullet as a whole